What's up, buddies? Welcome to yet another episode of Past and Present Squad Builders. As you can tell by the title, by the incredible thumbnail again from Tice the King, by the background, by the jersey, we're finally doing a past and present Bayern Munich squad builder. I see the messages on Twitter, in the comments of all my other past and present squad builders, all my other videos of you guys wanting this particular squad to be built. And considering the Bundesliga team is now... Bundesliga? The Bundesliga team is now out and done and finished. We can finally do the squad builder. So before we get into all of that, I do want to say thank you so much for the support on the Leicester City. And of course, all of the past and present squad builders. But oh my god, the Leicester City past and present squad builder video has just gone nuts. And I think you guys are loving that idea of me giving something back to you guys. Just for watching the video and taking part. So the winner of the Riyad Mahrez Leicester City jersey, the home jersey, was chosen. I replied to the comment and I've now replied to that guy's comment like three or four times and he still has not replied. So if you have commented on that video and liked that last video expecting to try and win the jersey, go check your comment because you could be the winner. And unfortunately, if this guy does not respond, I'm just going to pick someone else. So having said that, from here forward, as much as I can, I'm going to try and do these cool, fun jersey giveaways as we do these uh, videos. And this is the one that we're going to be giving away today, okay? So it's going to be a large home jersey, of course. Now, whether or not he's even going to be at the team, apologies there. But this is still a freaking dope-ass jersey, so don't be complaining to me. I'll be giving away an Arjen Robin home Bayern Munich jersey to one of the lucky people in the comments. But make sure you do a few things. The first thing you gotta do, like the video. Second thing you gotta do is write something in the comments down below because I'm just gonna be reading through the comments. I read through thousands of comments in the last video to finally pick someone's comment. And what I might end up doing is like, I might start picking from like the well-liked comments. You, you know what I mean? I'm gonna start picking through people that get a lot of likes. And the, the last person said that he was going to, I think the uh, Copa America, where he's gonna meet one of the players that played for Leicester and would love to get the jersey. I think there was like 60 or 70 subs that liked his comment before I even saw the comment. And after looking through thousands of comments, I was like, you know what? This is a cool one to go with. So I think we'll go along that line again for this episode or for this video. And more importantly, from here, let's get into the freaking squad builder because I'm so excited for this one. So first things first, always we gotta end up picking a formation and I gotta say I was talking with my stream about what type of formation I should do for a Bayern Munich past and present squad and a lot of people didn't agree with me going with 4-3-3 is what I originally wanted to do. I wanted to go with one striker and I'm gonna say this right now, I don't see myself using a few of the really really big team of the season Bundesliga released cards because I've already used a lot of them. For example, Lewandowski, I may use him, but I was planning on putting together a 4-3-3 setup and that would definitely not include him. I was thinking of going with someone different that I think is in the thumbnail. So one of the first players that I want to add into this team is someone that I think was pretty damn awesome at Bayern Munich. He has an inform this year, so I don't know why I'm sitting here like delaying it considering you guys can see it in the title and well, maybe not in the title, but at least in the thumbnail, Moy Gomez. Okay, that's slightly interesting. But we are going to go with Mario Gomez as one of our Bayern Munich players that we want to put into the team. So I believe he's gotten an upgrade and an inform card. He used to be such a baller. And I think this is going to be another one of those videos where there are so many possibilities, both in terms of legends, in terms of present Munich players, in terms of past Munich players, in terms of future Munich players that we could use that no one's really gonna agree with what I go with. So I'm just gonna do what I think looks cool. I may not be picking the, the best possible players, but I think I'll be putting together a really, really interesting team. So first person that's gonna get into the lineup is of course, Gomez. Now from here, the question is going to be, how am I going to link it all up? I think one of the other players that I really wanna try out is someone that is so damn good for me in Butt drafts and where is he mr mule where are you buddy come on yeah he's definitely going to be the next the next guy we go with i have no idea how much his card is going to be so where is he oh, oh, oh look at those stats now is he going to be wasted at center mid probably 400 and, dude he's 470k that's not even really expensive 469k that is not expensive to me that's a striker version of him so i'm gonna have to just waste some money shifting him down to a uh to a center mid but that is going to be the route i go you know what maybe i don't maybe i do listen to what my 
what my uh, Twitch chat was telling me to go with. Why not go with the three at the back formation? This actually may allow me to use a hell of a lot more fun players. And in terms of wingbacks, there's not that many fantastic wingbacks. If, if Alaba got what everyone I think deserved, uh, or thinks he deserved, was a team of the season card at left back, even though he played center back for most of the year, I'd maybe consider doing a different formation, but he's not in it. And if we do want him in it, this would be the formation to try and slot him in. So I could either do this, or, screw it, I'm going totally against what I said originally. Although, I could use Aryan Robin here, his informed striker card. Let's see. What are what are all of the options that we have? It's really going to be Team of the Season Lewandowski, who we've already used in a Dortmund squad builder, so I didn't really want to go with this card. But he's freaking 98. Wait, what? He's freaking 98 rated. Like, how do you turn down a 98 rated Lewandowski? How? He's 98 rated! Okay, let's... You know what? How expensive is this card? Am I gonna be bankrupt? Oh my god! He is not cheap! Okay. In before I lose a couple hundred thousand coins buying and selling him. Remember when we bought that Suarez? We lost like 400,000 coins on him. Hopefully it's not the same for, for this beauty. 90 pace as well is pretty crazy. Are both of my strikers on medium medium? That could be a bit of an issue, but let's start with that. Everyone is going to be on... Oh, I'm going to be using a lot of players off of Cam. One of the guys I really wanted to test out, and again, it's going to be someone else that's in the thumbnail, but let's go here with Costa. Douglas Costa. Again, hopefully he's not a million coins. His card looks amazing, though, so... Haven't used him yet. Want to use him. He's not even 400k. If I went that route with Podolski... He, he has an inform and it's a right mid, right? I think he'd be a really, really fun card to put in, but I wasn't thinking I'd be able to get him on proper. Yeah, he's got a right mid version. Let's do this. Why not? Lou, 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 Lucas Podolski. Lou, he is so cheap. Oh my God. Zway has such a man crush on this guy. My God. I had other plans for this defensive setup. I gotta be honest. I did have other plans for this defensive setup, but we may, we may end up keeping it exactly like this. Okay. Now, I don't think I'll have very much trouble fitting yet another past player in here, but there's so many that I want to fit in here. Again, we, again, I'm going to make people mad. I'm not going to put Lothar in the team. Mathaus, or however you say his name, he's not getting in the team. We've already used him in a past and present squad builder. But, like, I wanted to, if I'm honest, I wanted to put Effenberg in the team. Like, I, I wanted to get him in the setup. He's so, so bloody overpowered. Where is he? I think I have him in my club. Yeah, he's one of my favorite players still to use. Effenberg, I don't think many long-term Bayern fans are really going to disagree with this. He's put, what, six years in uh, for Bayern and was a G for however long he was there? So Effenberg would be lovely to put in into the team. Look at that as well. But then you've got like Arturo Vidal. Do we do we ignore someone completely like Bastian Schweinsteiger? Can I get Schweinsteiger in here? I guess I could, but then do we ignore Arturo Vidal? And do we ignore Oh my god, the whole myriad of other players. Doesn't Tiago have an inform as well? Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, how I want to put this team together. It's too hard. This Bayern team, there's just way too many fantastic players. So one of the guys that I, I just, I, I'm going to make sure he's in this team. Absolutely. Uh, there we go. Franz Beckenbauer just needs to be in there. And I kind of wish I still had my pack pulled version because it's just a special card to have. I sold him on because I just wasn't using him. Crazy to think that he's still 700 and you know, almost 800k. What route do I want to go? Do we want to squeeze in Schweinsteiger? How much does this beast have? He used to play at, uh, at Bayern Munich. So a lot of Dortmund fans, maybe that aren't very familiar with Hummels' past, may call this guy a snake. I would highly disagree with it. He's already played for Bayern, uh, and he's going back to Bayern. That deal is done. So you can consider him a past player. You can consider him a future player. You can even consider him a present player. But I just think that that is gonna be a sweet setup and maybe maybe i should go this route considering he has a little bit less pace whereas beckenbauer has a hell of a lot more pace that would be a great route to go and then over here do we just go super boring and go boatang because i love boatang what a team i'm actually almost out of coins oh my god okay so 
Oh, do we go Schweinsteiger? We could go, so we could go Schweinsteiger. We could go Vidal. Oh, I think a lot of people would rather see Schweinsteiger in the setup than they would rather see Tony Cruz in the setup. You know what? Let's just see. Let's just see how much, how easy he is to fit. I might just do a, a big bunch of uh, substitutes. This is definitely the, the spot for him. And, and there you go, really. We could go with Alaba. No, I can't go with Alaba here, unfortunately. I was thinking uh, the center back version of Alaba as well. I was actually thinking of putting Alaba there. It's too bad. I can't even use Alaba. Could do that and then go Alaba here. But like, am I really not going to go? I can't believe I'm leaving out so many. I'm leaving out Arturo Vidal. Tiago, like, have a look at this. Okay. Have a look at all of these players I'm going to leave out. I'm going to get, I'm going to go with the one I really, really want to go with. Boateng is just a god. So that's the back line I'm going with, without a doubt. I think, again, no one's really going to argue this. God, this team is really nice. I love doing these past and present squad builders just because the teams look so freaking beautiful. Definitely going to go with Team of the Year Neuer as well. Deserve to be in Team of the Season, but who really cares when we can just buy this version so that's what i'm thinking is going to be the starting 11 we've got one two three four five existing technically six if you want to count hummels existing Bayern players then we've got one two three four five six past slash legends so that's fantastic but to think that like we could put vidal here we could put alaba somewhere in the team as well zerd and shakiri would be another fantastic wow Robin's striker card is that cheap? What the f Hello? This card is under 500k? 459k. Aryan Robin's striker card is 459k. Yo, you know what? For the fact that I'm wearing the jersey, that's what we're doing. And you know what? Now we're out of coins entirely. So that's the route we're going to go. I'm going to make a few adjustments. I'm going to change the, the stadium around because we're playing in Dortmund Stadium. Okay, so game one is against a Division One winner. All right, fair enough. That's just an intelligently put together team. Who the shit is your right back though? No, no, no Jim Boblin! Oh, team of the year Neuer. What a freaking save. Oh my god, bro. This is all you deal with with the three at the back shit. You sweaty asshole. Oh, no! No, Nick! You idiot! That's a goal. Has to be a five star weak foot. Oh my god, Na freaking hell. First of all, Neymar's causing me issues galore, but Neuer's coming up huge in the first 10 minutes. Okay. I don't know what to do here. Lewandowski! No! Oh, the pass back ref! Come on! That was good. I mean, I don't know, man. That was like literally maybe my second attack. Come on. And the half. Nope. Wanted that to go to Thomas the Mule. God knows why it didn't go to him. This is ridiculous, man. It does. Honestly, though, in terms of my players passing, it feels like I'm playing with bronzes. Like, they're just idiotic. It's incredible. Why is such a high rated awesome team? All playing like bronzes? I have no idea. Like, there, look at that. What on earth is going on? I would not be surprised right now as well if Neuer has man of the match. He must. 8.2 rating, 5 saves. Yeah, just crazy. Oh. oh, that was the first chance. Is it offside as well? No, it wasn't offside. Oh. Okay. Gomez! Mario! Oh. Again! Oh! What the fu- Dude, I- it feels like I'm playing- Like, the team is doing pretty decent, defending well, watch me concede now, but... It's doing okay, but in terms of- Never mind. I need to stop fucking talking, man. There it is. Oh, fuck off. There it is. one nothing. Never mind. Just- I'm gonna shut up. Oh my god, that pass. Come on! Please! Please! Oh, and he's offside! Come on! Come on, man! We're so close to getting the equalizer! Oh, what a shot! Of course, when it's too little too late, then this team starts waking up. Gomez.
Oh my god, Costa's stats for his free kicks are freaking outrageous. Come on! Hummus! Podolski! Oh, yo, that's a handball rep! That's the end of the game, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh my god. Dude, come on! Oh! Was just having some major troubles getting goals, boys. So I think what we're going to do is shift the team around like we were originally going to. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a little bit of this. And actually, I can get Alaba here and we'll still be on full chem. Ho ho ho! Alright, so this is a much more... Well, this actually is pretty much an entirely Bayern Munich team. But you know what? For the second game, that's the route that we're going to go. Bayern Munich plus a few legends. Let's see how this setup plays. And who are we coming up against for this? Okay. All right. Someone's got a, a cheaply assorted La Liga team. Maybe getting ready for the uh, for the tournaments to come. Oh. oh, it's so ugly. Oh, my God. I'm such a sweaty prick. Like, like it. Oh. oh. What's happening? Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow. Here it is. Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. Did I just do it again? Fuck, I have no confidence. Man, what am I doing? I've got 98 Lewandowski. I have 98 Lewandowski right now, and I'm trying to sweat it with him. Have a word with yourself, Nick. 28T! Chip him! Boom! There it is! Good God! Use the card that you have, you moron! Oh my god. What a save. Dude, seriously? Neuer, please! Oh my god, Neuer is so good. Uh, have they fixed Team of the Year Neuer? Because in these two games, he's been outstanding. Nice. Nice. Nice! Oh, it's dirty, but I'll take it. God, struggling there, boys. We got the one goal, and then after that, just... Playing like absolute morons, but I feel like that's a very Bayern Munich goal, though, hey? Top it in. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm gonna hammer this. No, I'm not. Near post OP! Yes! Oh, man. Finally, the floodgates are opening, and this is the type of scoreline this team deserves. Here we go. Is. <laughs> okay! I like him a lot. I do have to say, Thomas the Mule is so good on the ball, and I really do feel like, there we go, we've caused a rage quit. I do really feel like that, oh, maybe we haven't. At center attacking mid is definitely the place for him. What a finish, man. Okay, Coleman, 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 Coleman! Oh! Uh, okay, so this guy randomly deciding to quit in the 60th minute. Okay, well, I think... Considering how fun this team was to use, we basically only used it for a game and a half. I think, without a doubt, we go into a third game. Like, the setup with Robin and Lewandowski up front is absolutely amazing. Having the mule in behind is, is fantastic as well. I might swap Costa and Komen to have them both cut in on their strong feet. I think that might do better. I found it really hard to get uh, Team of the Season Costa involved in the play and in general in this formation. So we'll try that. The final game of the episode. Okay, and we're dealing with just a pacey Premier League setup. Should be able to slap it. Here we go. That is a terrible pass from Robert Lewandowski, but anyways. Terrible cross. Okay. Oh! Oh! What's happening? No, 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 silly guy. Coleman? Robin? I think I'm away. I think I am away. Yes, that's garbage. That is so garbage. For all the chances I've had, that is, ew, disgusting. But I'll take it. Hit him on the counter. If I had Mario Gomez there, good luck. None of that ever would have happened, but there you go. Near post OP and... Not quite sure how Courtois didn't make that save. Embarrassing. Embarrassing passing. Okay. Juventus player scores! I'll take it, boys. I would be shocked. Shocked with how well Komen has played this year for Bayern. If Juventus didn't try their best to absolutely keep him. There we go. You know what? Courtois had a piece of that as well. Lucky for it to go in. 
really is. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! What the f Wow! Crazy! That almost bounced off both posts and still didn't go in. But there you go. Aryan Robin picking up the garbage. Lewandowski deserved for that to go in the net. So it's only taken me about two games or so to get used to the team and the formation. But now that I know the different runs that the team makes and stuff like that, this Bayern Munich 352 setup is crazy. I would take this team into Division 1 any day of the week. That is a good ball. That's a goal. Ah, uh, it's okay. You know what? Fair enough. Come on, boys. Let's finish strong. I want one more goal before the end. And not to give away possession. What on earth am I up to? Holy sh... Yes, Beckenbauer. Okay. Can we please not concede another goal? I do not want to deal with that. Okay. Oh, Neuer! Oh, that was sick. Sweeper keeper of dreams right there. Okay. The mule? Come on. Oh! Let's go, boys. One more. One more! I can't, man. To save my life, I can't with, with freaking. I just can't. I can't do any work with Robert Lewandowski other than firing some random shots here and there. That's pretty much it. But there we go. Third game is done. I think we've deserved it. I didn't want to just end the episode on one win, one loss. So much better on two wins. This team is absolutely fantastic. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Again, remember to like and comment on the video for your chance on an Aryan Robin Bayern Munich jersey. This entire team was fantastic. Just took me a little bit of time to get used to, but changing it to this, as cool as the original team was, this is a dominant team, man. Having a really Robin up front was incredible. Lewandowski, I might just need a little bit more time. He didn't feel all that great, but he still scored a goal and got two assists in three games. I really, really enjoyed using the Mule, and oddly enough, he got only a goal and an assist in three games. But the entire team was great. If you do want to bring Douglas Costa's team of the season into the game and have him be more involved, play him in like a 4-3-2-1 at right forward, or play him in like a 4-3-3-4 or a false nine at right wing or something like that. Like that because at right mid i don't think he does great at all however oddly enough coleman was pretty damn good on the left side of the field so i don't know if it's just two different players with two different styles of play but both good i just think he uses you know he should definitely be higher up the field this partnership in the middle of the park was fantastic alaba and effenberg and the back line is just perfection. Like, just think of what actually Bayern Munich fans have to look forward to in real life and even an ultimate team next year. Like, you're going to have a back line of Boateng, Hummels, and maybe even Alaba with Neuer in net. That is just absolutely outrageous. So on that note, thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!